Hey guys, it's Yasmin, aka Carob Curls. Today I'm going to show you my updated wash and go routine with a series of products. Alright, so the first thing I did was use the Lotus by Alicia's Hydrating Mango and Hemp Deep Moisture Mask. This thing is amazing. I recommend you guys check her out on her website. And then I followed that with the Karen's Body Beautiful Pomegranate Leave-In. And then I used the Curls Creme Brulee Whipped Curl Cream Leave-In for added moisture. Followed by my favorite almond oil. I love these oils. There's no name to these oils. There's no brand, um, but I love them. Uh, and I also use the Camille Rose Naturals Curl Maker. Hair, as you can see, my hair has been separated and pre-sectioned into four sections. And this is my hair. I did put in a little bit of product when I come out to shower because if I don't, my hair will dry out really fast. So all that's in my hair in this picture is um, the um, the Karen's Body Beautiful leave-in. And here I separated my uh, hair into a little section, not that little, but a chunk in the back. Um, this is a little length check. My hair is about uh, probably about an inch below bra strap, which is uh, I think pretty good for length retention. And here I'm adding some extra um, curls creme brulee to my hair for added moisture to make sure I get in between um, the sections for uh, complete coverage. And as you can see here, I definitely like to make sure I am smoothing that product through my hair and raking the moisturizers through my hair. And here I like to add almond oil in the individual sections. And just so you ladies know, I use almond oil in my hair or any other kind of oil I'm using every single day. And I am exceptionally heavy handed. Um, no, the oils do not make my neck greasy or my pillowcase greasy or my clothes greasy. This oil literally penetrates my hair shaft. Granted, I do follow the curly girl method. So, my hair is, um, I don't know what type of porosity my hair is, but it's raw, I will say that. Um, so it allows for all the products to penetrate um, my strands. So these oils are so light, they smell delicious. Again, there's no brand to them, but I will try to um, find a way to get a hold of them so I can sell it to you guys. Let me know if that's something you wanna do, leave a comment below. Here I am adding the Camille Rose Curl Maker to my roots and smoothing the product through my hair nicely. Letting you know also this is a very detailed video, it's a bit long, but I got a lot of requests for people to take, for me to take my time as I'm doing these videos and show each step in a detailed manner. So I want to make sure you guys see my regimen. So again, I'm smoothing the Camille Rose Curl Maker through my strands, and then I proceed to separate my hair in the next session, section, and then go back and add more curls, creme brulee, leave-in, and then the Camille Rose um, Curl Maker and oil later on. Sometimes I may miss a section and forget to add oil, but you guys get the gist. I pretty much apply the curls or whatever leave-in I have in my hair, the oil, and then the gel. And for me, again, smoothing the hair is important to help to maintain that shine. I feel like it helps to just really smooth the hair shaft and smooth surfaces shine for the most part. So as you can see here, I'm raking the product through in big sections, not individual strands, but I'm raking it through so my hair can clump together. And here I go with my oil. Even after I put the gel, I go in and put oil on top of it to make sure it's sealing the moisture in my hair. Again, like I said, I'm extremely heavy handed with my oil. It really helps to keep my hair soft and help to keep my strands separated um, and prevent from getting tangled. Here, I'm adding in the Camille Rose Curl Makeup Gel again. 
definitely put enough at the roots to make sure um, each individual strand uh, curls nicely and to make sure it doesn't get puffy or some people say poofy <laughs> over time. Top section. I use my denim brush because I want to make sure the top section here um, is really, really smooth. This part of my hair, of course, is a little bit um, drier, so I want to make sure the curls are, are um, separated and not tangled. Um, my hair gets tangled extremely easy. And again, here's what the back looks like. Adding a little more gel down the center part to make sure it's well defined and prevent from getting tangled and knotted once it starts to dry. Love the way this combination of products work with my hair. Oh, here I did a little mini, I think I did a little mini, yeah, a little mini lint check here for you guys. I haven't done a lint check video, um, so I figure I'll kind of throw this in as a little bonus. So I guess uh, we use bra strap as a gauge, so it's about an inch or two below bra strap, so it's like about two or three inches away from my waist. I've been natural. This November will be three years since my last relaxer. I transitioned for one year and um, my uh, final big chop, the last bit of uh, relaxed ends came off last uh, May. So I've been fully natural for one year. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> And again, I'm raking the product through nicely as I'm smoothing my strands. I'm extending the curls to make sure most of the strands, if not all the strands, get enough product in it. And I go back and I add more at the roots just to guarantee that it is fully saturated. So I'm heavy handed for the most part with every kind of product. So if you're struggling with your wash and goes and you're not getting that definition, I recommend adding a little bit more of that hair product until you get that look that you want. Again, I'm using a Demon brush here just to make sure my curls are not tangled. My wash and goes do tend to get tangled over time, so I want to make sure at the beginning of my wash and go that my curls are nicely separated. Each one is getting a good amount of uh, moisture and gel so that when it's all said and done, it looks wonderful. Smoothing, smoothing, smoothing. You will see me constantly smoothing my hair again that aids in shine and curl definition decide to speed this up for you guys but i want to show you the full video since you've been asking um again the process add that uh leave-in of choice add that oil add a gel and you can follow up with more oil if you like as well your choice it's all about trial and error it's not always consistent. I don't do the same thing every single time, but um, if I feel like I want it, my hair feels like it needs it, I will do what I need to do. Here I go with that oil again. Look at that shine. Oil is amazing. I have like 20 of them in my cabinet. <laughs> Stretching and elongating the hair is very important. I'll make sure I put enough gel on the hairline of my hair as well. Here. Don't you love the way the hair is shining? I like to go in after and kind of like add more gel and clump it here together so it dries kind of clumped. Here I take my brush just to make sure, you know, the front looks very neat and nice. I'm 
And I think I'm gonna turn around here and show you the back. Okay, I think I lied. That's later on in the video. I didn't show myself adding in the leave-in and the um, oil, but I did apply that to my hair. Just cut it out for the sake of time in this video. Same thing here, add the moisture, the oil, the gel, break that through. And here I'm just twirling the ends. Once I do that, I kind of do a quick little finger coil just to give the front a little bit um, additional definition because sometimes when I'm moving about my day, it will get frizzy. So I do this, I um, kind of like just twist the ends right at the hairline. Here is where I'm going to show you the back of my hair to show you the definition that this combination of products provided. Look at that shine, that bounce, that body, and honestly, the growth from my last Camille Rose video that I think you could find on my page. I love it. Um, again, let's be careful, ladies, to give just one product all the credit. We did use a series of products here. The Lotus by Alicia, Hydrating Mango and Hemp Deep Moisture Mask. Amazing. That's Lotus by Alicia. Again, I use the Curls Creme Brulee, the Karen's Body Beautiful Pomegranate Leave-In, and the Camille Rose Curl Maker. Here, I put my headband on just because I was about to run my errands and didn't want to get my wet gel hair on my face. So I let my hair dry like this. When it's about 80% dry, I take the band off and let the front dry. But look at that. Amazing. All right, so after I did my errands and so forth, my hair was about 95% dry. It did shrink, as you can see, but look at the definition in that wash and go, you guys. Amazing. I'm going to show you how I band my hair. Um, so I, first, as you saw, I have a three twist in the front because that's where I had the headband on. My hair did not have an opportunity to dry. So when that happens, I just add a few twists. Otherwise, the next day it will be frizzy. So here, I separated my hair. I'm adding oil yet again. Here I am putting oil on my ends. I love my hair to feel a little bit slippery when I put the bands on. That helps to make sure my hair is not going to break. A basic elastic band you can get at any local beauty supply store or pharmacy. And I just twist. Not too tight because you do not want to break your hair. But enough to keep the twist from, enough to keep the band from slipping off the hair. Okay, and here I'm taking a little bit more almond oil and gently spreading it through my hair. And I went for another band. And as you're banding, put it on, twist, twist, pull the hair through, twist, pull the hair through. And continue to do this, and as you're pulling the hair through and banding, Make sure that you are banding it down and stretching your hair at the same time to elongate your hair. You don't want it that elongated because again, it will change your curl pattern. Just don't pull it too much. Now, I band my hair every single night. I do this every single night. If I do not band my hair, my hair will get extremely tangled because the curls would just get interlocked with one another. And that, for me, leads to breakage and a very difficult wash day. So while I love my natural curl pattern, I band my hair less for length than it is for preventing tangles. Um, which for me is more important because I don't want my hair to break. So I don't mind compromising my curl pattern for a day, um, the banding, and to prevent the tangling. So I just do that in four simple sections on the first date. Sometimes I will band it in just two pigtails. Sometimes I'll band it in this one big pigtail. It takes about five minutes in total. After I band my hair, I take out some almond oil 
and I just put it all over my roots and sometimes right over my bands and the banded areas. Again, I'm very heavy handed with the olive oil or the almond oil or the coconut oil because I just love to make sure my hair is extremely protected from the wind, um, the elements of nature, and just manipulation. And I grab my satin scarf, apply it to my head, and then I go to sleep. Now, during the week when I band, so like the second day, I would spritz a little bit of water, add some more almond oil, and band. And I do that every single day. Spritz water, until spritz some water in my hair until it's about 20% moist. Oil, band, satin scarf, and then to bed. Every day until the next wash day. And this is the next morning. You can even notice that my hair shrunk, even though it's banded. And as you're taking out the bands, you wanna make sure you are gentle in the process. But what's great about it is you have the oils on your hair. As you can see, my hair is extremely shiny. It's very, very, very soft. And as you can tell, the curl pattern looks different. It's a lot more stretched out, so it's more wavy than it is curly. I know a lot of people don't want to band because they like to see their curls that way, so it's definitely your preference and your choice. I choose to band because I cannot deal with the tangles. It is heartbreaking when you're on wash day and you have to detangle your hair and a lot of hair comes out in the shower. I prefer to, to uh, not rock my natural curls and just make sure my hair is just healthy and growing. And I guess one of the plus sides, um, pluses to banding is the elongation of your hair. Um, it definitely stretches my hair out um, to about twice its length when it's dry. So it's nice sometimes to have that option to rock it short or to rock it a little bit longer. And ladies, when it comes to growth, understand that moisture is key to retaining your length. And the reason why that is, is because everyone here, everyone's hair for the most part grows about a quarter of an inch a month. The reason why some um, girls will see more growth seemingly is that it's not that their hair is growing more, it's just retaining length, okay? Because their hair is not breaking. If you're not maintaining that moisture, your hair will break and it will seem and appear that your hair is not growing and it actually is growing. Here I'm undoing the few twists I put in the front. I actually kind of like a wash and go with twists after because it looks kind of cool because my hair wasn't dry. And I do a quick massage. And I always love that. <laughs> Stimulate that blood. And then I like to kind of shape my curls and pull and tug and fluff. I don't really use an afro comb for my twist for my wash and goes. I just place my hair separate my fingers. For me, uh, if I have used an afro comb at the roots of my hair, I find that it makes my hair pretty tangled. I do do it sometimes, but more towards um, the end of that style when I'm about to wash it. But I love the results. I love that it looks. Um, shiny and bouncy this is the back mama had a part in the center in the back so i kind of do this and fluff out and try to blend in the part a little bit and i usually go into the mirror and make sure it looks okay but look at that length shine bounce and body again this is a combination of all the products that i use they all did a phenomenal job it's not just about one product versus another product within that uh slew of products you use you have to find the right combination of products. I, again, do not stay within one line from beginning to end, shampoo, leave-in, and then styler. I, I blend based on 
what I know my hair needs at that time. So I will use a different brand for my wash, a different brand for my leave-in, a different brand for my styler. And here I'm adding the Camille Rose to my edges, just to lay it down a little bit. And just so you know also, every night when I come home and I wash my face, I wash these edges out. Like I don't keep that gel that I'm applying there in my hair every night. I just kind of like have my bathing cap on and I, when I wash my face, I just make sure a lot of water actually hits my hairline and I kind of like just kind of rub my hairline and rinse out the gel because I feel like over time you have too much product in your hair like that, it would dry your hair and it could break. So. Every day I add gel to my edges, but I make sure I remove the gel from the day before to keep my edges light and breezy. But this is really it, ladies. I hope you loved this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was detailed enough. I apologize for a 20-minute video, but I got so many requests for it. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with a friend. Cheers. Yeah, let's